Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Politics with Kevin. Today we'll be covering two more presidential candidates. The candidate who came in third in my poll is Senator Elizabeth Warren. Born in Oklahoma City in 1949, Elizabeth Warren is a graduate of both the University of Houston and Rutgers Law School. She formerly was a prominent scholar specializing in bankruptcy law and has taught at several universities, including Harvard. Warren began getting involved in public policy in 1995 when she opposed the Bankruptcy Abuse Prevention and Consumer Act, which restricted bankruptcy access for individuals. She rose to higher fame due to her forceful stances in favor of more banking regulations in the face of the 2007 to 2008 financial crisis. She served as the chair of the Congressional Oversight Panel of the Troubled Asset Relief Program. She is also very important or she was also very important in the creation of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is responsible for consumer protection in the financial sector, hence the name. And she has served as its first special advisor under President Obama. She's currently serving as senator for the state of Massachusetts and vice chair of the Senate Democratic Caucus. This main, her, excuse me, her main issues are consumer protection, economic opportunity, and the social safety net. The candidate who came in fourth in my poll is none other than Andrew Yan. Mr. Yan was born in 1975. He's an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and founder of Venture for America, a nonprofit organization that wants to revitalize American cities and communities through entrepreneurship. Yan has also was also selected as a champion of change and as presidential ambassador for global entrepreneurship under the Obama administration. Yan has proposed universal basic income. Kevin, what is universal basic income, you may ask? Well, let me break it down. Well, Yan has proposed that every person over the age of 18 receives $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. He also wants a Medicare for All, a form of single-player health care, and human-centered capitalism, a new form of capitalism whose central tenets are, one, humans are more important than money, two, the unit of human capitalist economy is each human, not each dollar, and three, markets exist to serve our common goals and values. That is according to Yane himself on his website. Anyway, that's all for me. Back to you in the studio.